Hello, and welcome back. In today's Black Excellence presentation, we will highlight things you didn't know about Misty Copeland. Welcome to BlackExcellence.com, the site where we celebrate Black excellence, opulence, and affluence. Our mission is to inspire you as we enlighten you. Misty Copeland is an American ballet dancer for American Ballet Theater, one of the three leading classical ballet companies in the United States. Her rise atop the ranks of the competitive world of ballet has been one barrier-shattering moment after another. Copeland is elegantly dismantling the barriers of race and class that have long surrounded the art form. In addition to her illustrious dance career, Misty has become a public speaker, celebrity spokesperson, and stage performer. In this original Black Excellence video, we will be featuring Misty Copeland. This unlikely ballerina has a frame that may be petite, but her stage presence is huge and has ignited opportunities that extend far beyond many young African-American girls' dreams. So without further ado, let's get started. 1. Misty experienced many early childhood struggles. Misty's mother, Sylvia De La Serna, was African-American and Italian. Her father, Doug Copeland, was African-American and German. When Misty was two, her mother and father split up and Della Serna moved her four children to California. She married and divorced twice more and had two more children. Amid an unstable lifestyle with financial instability, Misty grew up moving from house to house with her mother's various friends, boyfriends, and husbands. Copeland says her chaotic childhood made her anxious and cautious around others. Two, Misty did not start ballet until age 13. Misty was considered a prodigy who rose to stardom despite not starting ballet until the age of 13. At 15, Copeland won the Los Angeles Music Center Spotlight Award, which recognizes talented high school students across a variety of fields. She studied dance at the lauded Lordson Ballet Center in Torrance, California. She became an award-winning dancer and started fielding professional offers. Three. Misty became the center of a bitter custody battle. At the time when her family was living in a single motel room, which was a two-hour bus ride from the ballet school, Misty's mom decided her daughter's lessons had to end. But she had already started training under teachers Cynthia and Patrick Bradley, who were reluctant to let their promising new pupil go. Eventually, Copeland moved in with the Bradleys, and the new environment allowed her to blossom. Copeland then considered emancipation from her mother, which led to her mother, in return, filing restraining orders. Della Serna claimed that the Bradleys had brainwashed Copeland into filing for emancipation. Eventually, both sides dropped legal proceedings, and Misty ultimately settled back in with her mom and began studying under a new teacher. 4. Misty is an African-American hero. After two summer workshops, Misty Copeland managed the incredible achievement of being accepted into the American Ballet Theater in 2000 and its corps de ballet in 2001. She became an ABT soloist in 2007. In June 2015, Copeland scored a monumental achievement covered the world over, becoming the first African-American performer to be appointed an ABT principal dancer in the company's history. 5. Misty experienced body image struggles. After a delayed puberty, Copeland gained 10 pounds in two months, and her body completely changed. She also suffered a lumbar stress fracture that put her off stage for nearly a year. The combination of the two traumas was a big struggle for her, and she lost confidence in her dance. Her curvy and strong muscular body was an anomaly for the ballerina industry. The professional pressure to conform to a conventional ballet physique and aesthetics resulted in deep depression and a binge eating disorder. She ultimately overcame the battles with the establishment over her race, shape, and even her hair to prove herself to ballet instructors, peers, and audiences. 6. Misty is the author of three books. In 2014, Copeland released a best-selling memoir, Life in Motion, An Unlikely Ballerina. 
Her 2014 children's picture book, titled Firebird, has a message of empowerment for young children of color. In 2017, Copeland released her second autobiographical work and third book, Ballerina Body, a health and fitness guide. If you love our videos and have a suggestion for a future edition, let us hear from you in the comments section below. Seven, Misty is happily married. Misty met her future husband, attorney Olu Evans, at the age of 21 in 2004. She credits him with helping her regain her confidence and take better care of herself during her eating disorder. After several years of dating, Misty Copeland married on July 31, 2016 in Laguna Beach, California. Evans operates their dancewear company, Muse Dancewear, out of their apartment on the Upper West Side. 8. Misty follows a pescatarian diet. Like most pescatarians, Copeland forgoes red meat and poultry and instead eats all kinds of seafood, including fish, shrimp, and clams plus dairy, eggs, and plant foods. She gets all the nutritional benefits of a vegetarian, plus she also gets high-quality protein, omega-3s, and other nutrients from the fish in her diet. Misty emphasizes that fat in tuna, sardines, or salmon can fill you up and also help you absorb more nutrition. She also admits that she does enjoy an occasional cookie or even a Domino's pizza, but does so in moderation. Nine. Misty landed a Barbie doll deal. After breaking so many barriers in the ballet arena, Misty now has her own Barbie doll. The doll wears a costume similar to the one Copeland wore for her Firebird role. Copeland admits that she was a very shy girl and played with Barbie dolls until the age of 13, since they gave her a way to dream. Misty's doll is part of Barbie's Sheroes program that honors female heroes who break boundaries. 10. Misty receives multiple modeling and endorsements. Copeland was featured in T-Mobile's ads for the Blackberry in 2010 and an ad for Dr. Pepper in 2013. Also in 2013, she represented Coach Incorporated and became a spokesperson for Project Plie, a national initiative to broaden the pipeline of leadership within ballet. In 2014, Copeland became a sponsored athlete for Under Armour. She also became a brand ambassador for Seiko in 2015. In late 2016, the Dannon Company hired Copeland as a spokesperson for its Okois brand. In 2017, Copeland became the spokesperson for an Estee Lauder fragrance. With her Under Armour deal, Copeland was paid more than all of the earnings from her ballet career combined. Her Under Armour's Women's Focus ad campaign was widely publicized. The ad campaign was recognized by Ad Week as one of the top 10 best ads of 2014 and as the year's best campaign targeting women. In February 2017, Copeland debuted her own collection of activewear for Under Armour. 11. Misty is the recipient of several honors and recognition. In 2008, Copeland won the Lenore Addenberg Fellowship in the Arts, which funds study with master teachers and trainers outside of ABT. In 2013, she was named National Youth of the Year Ambassador by the Boys and Girls Clubs of America. In 2014, Copeland was named to Barack Obama's President's Council on Fitness, Sports, and Nutrition. In the same year, she received an honorary doctorate from the University of Hartford for her contributions to classical ballet and helping to diversify the art form. Copeland was a Dance Magazine Awards 2014 honoree. After her promotion as principal dancer, Copeland was named one of Glamour's Women of the Year for 2015, one of ESPN's 2015 Impact 25 athletes and influencers who have made the greatest impact for women in sports. In 2016, Copeland won a Shorty Award for Best in Dance in Social Media. 12. Misty had a very close friendship with Prince. Misty Copeland credits the legend Prince with helping build her self-confidence. In a discussion with Soledad O'Brien, the prima ballerina choked up when speaking about her friendship with the late singer, whom she called this really hilarious quiet guy who became my friend. 
Prince first cast Copeland in 2009 for the video for his song, Crimson and Clover. Her favorite Prince song is The Beautiful Ones, which she also performed with Prince. When performing with Prince, Misty enjoyed the experience and freedom to just go out there and create. She learned that no matter the environment, she could combine a large portion of herself, her creativity, and her artistry into her performance. The more Misty performed with Prince, the more she learned who she wanted to be as a person and as an artist. We appreciate the fact that you stayed with us until the end. Thank you for spending time with us and don't forget to like this video. Also, make sure you subscribe so that you never miss a video. Bye for now, we will see you tomorrow.